have the spirit of anger. Sir. And this spirit of anger keep destroy your home. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, okay. sir. Take it easy. That's a first thing they ask you to do. Yes, sir. You did not do it at all. Yes, mm. sir. They asked you to fast for two days. The prophecy you give, I have a spirit of anger. And because of that, I do lock my husband when we are to tear the clothes. Please, man of God. Do you do what? I lock my husband on his clothes. I do tear his clothes when the spirit come. What did I tell you? I said the anger has destroyed your home. Yes, sir. But uh, I mean, I mean, anybody that say you as a beautiful woman, you are going through a thorough punishment. Yes, sir. The anger, anger. Yes, sir. Anger. Yes, sir. I where, do cry. In where is your my husband? Heart. My husband is in the church. Can you go and call Mr. your husband? Mr. Godwin in Yaoko, come out. Mother of God, what you say about my wife is true. Anytime she's fighting with me, she will hold my cloth, hold my pennies. Then I will be begging her. Man of God, please deliver us. Stand up. Man of God, help me. She always fights me. Anytime I beg, I'll be begging her. She will hold my cloth, tear my cloth. She will not allow me to go out. And hold your what? My pennies. Man of God, sometimes he will go out to drink. So when he come out, he'll be angry that he has gone out. They, they can't find any other place to hold. <laughs> So I want to say you people, it's it's over, okay? And uh, the danger there is that uh, you lock your husband inside and you lock it with the key. Yes, sir. But for what? If that angry comes, sir, but I know I'm free today, it won't happen. That is not what I'm asking you. Hallelujah. Shall we put our hands together for Jesus? So we have seen what happened in the life of this couple. And today they are here. The whole family is here because they have seen something mighty that the Lord has done in their lives. We have come as a whole family to testify of the great changes God Almighty has brought about in their home. So we would like to listen to the uh, family and he has, shared, he has shared with us their experience ever since uh, God Almighty delivered them. So Madam, we are going to hear from you first. Can you introduce yourself? Tell us your name. The people standing beside you then go on to share with us your testimony. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. Good morning, church. My name is uh, Mrs. Godwin in Yaoko. I'm from Ebony State. I reside in Osun State. The, pe the person beside me is my husband, where the other one is my son, my second son, and they, they are my children. Yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> The prophecy man of God gave to me last Sunday is 100% true. I have a spirit of anger, just like man of God say. That spirit of anger has destroyed my home. If the spirit comes, I will fight my husband. When we start fighting, I will want my husband to wound me before I will leave him to go. You said what? When, when the spirit come over me, I would like to fight my husband and turn his clothes Turn his trouser, I will now hold him in my so that he will kill me before he escapes. <laughs> that must have been a very serious spirit of anger, as the man said, and nearly destroyed the home. Can you share with us more of the kind of uh, uh, fighting that occurred between you and your husband before you received your deliverance? Tell us the consequences of this fight uh, between you and your husband. This fight has started since we get married. Sometimes we fight every week, fight every month. When I was still having a child with him, we fight. Like when my kid, they were still small, we fight. It's just my two sons that will witness that we still recollect how we fight. If we want to fight, I will lock my husband into the room. I will tell my husband, if you don't kill me, you are not going anywhere. And my husband will start beating me, hit me, so he will not escape. And immediately the spirit leave me. I will say I will not do that again. But when the spirit comes, I will fight. And when he normally starts, is when he go out to drink. When he come back, I will start angry with him. Okay, you, so you, you said something that uh, even you used to lock uh, the, the, your husband and yourself in the room. 
And what do you do with the key when you lock the door? When I lock the door, I will throw the key. So both of us, no one will find where the key is. But when he beats me, sometimes he will just see the key in time. He may open the door, or sometimes he will use his leg to break the door and run out. Oh, I will, we'll see here from your husband, his own side of the experience. So that was how the spirit of anger has uh, caused this uh, problem and disunity in the home. Yes. Even when the spirit comes, when my children were still small, I beat them, I hit them. My second son was even telling me one certain time that, Mommy, you've changed you. You don't beat us again, you don't play karate again. So, <laughs> so um, um, d d during the times we were having this uh, disunity as a result of the spirit of anger that caused a constant fight between you and your husband, uh, was there some efforts put in place to bring about settlement between you and your husband uh, before you finally received your deliverance last week Sunday? Yes, my husband, mother, my husband, people do call us that we should stop fighting, that this thing we are doing is not good, that if we fight and separate, what will happen with the kids? Hello? That what will happen with the kid that we will start fighting like this. So my mother-in-law will plead to me that I should come down. But when my mother-in-law talk to me, finish, I will accept. But when the spirit comes again, I will start. I will even remember what he said to me again. That, was, that means it was an, a spirit you could not control. As he said, that our fight is not carnal. And it was only God that could deliver this famine. And that was what happened uh, last week, Sunday. And it all came uh, through the power of prophecy. Prophecy. So um, I know your husband will have uh, some experience to share with us uh, during the time of this commotion, I would say, in the family. So let us quickly hear from your husband before we go on to hear from the children as well. So you're very much welcome. Can you tell us your name? And please, can you just share with us uh, some of the experiences you had during the time uh, this spirit of anger was still in your wife uh, and in confirmation uh, to the words of prophecy given to you last week Sunday? Emmanuel. Emmanuel, my name is Godwin in Aoko. I'm from a boy stage. This is my lovely wife, and they are my uh, children. So, according to the prophecy of last week, the prophecy is 100% true because my wife had a spirit of anger, and myself, I have a spirit of uh, drinking. Sometimes I will go out to drink. When I come back, my wife will be, won't be happy. So, you know, as a man, me, I will try to tell her that I'm the owner of this house, that you can't control me. She might buy it with my money. So from there, we'll be fighting. So sometimes she will tear my cloth, hold my uh, penis. She will not allow me to go out. To the extent that one day she locked the door and uh, she, she, I didn't know where she dropped the key. She said, I must key her. Then I now use my leg to break the door. Sometimes. After begging her, she will open the, open the door. So that's how they split the split uh, the stop our marriage. Mm -hmm. So let's just ask from your wife, the wife, one or two questions. During the time you used to fight your husband, can you tell us, because a man to a woman, can you tell us what kind of strength power came into, how, how did you normally feel during this time you engaged your husband in those fights? If the spirits come, I can't control myself. And nobody will talk to me that time that we accept. I would like for two of us to fight. It's after the fighting that I will say, ah, why do I do this? I will talk to myself, I will not do this again. Still, the spirit will still torment me to hmm. fight. Hallelujah. But ever since the man of God gave those words of prophecy to you, um, prophecy to you last week Sunday and went on to deliver you and your husband, can you tell us the changes you have seen in your life and your marriage? The, sp the spirit has left me, we are living fine. It's like the first day that we meet. You know, ladies, that is here, the day you first meet your husband, you know how it is. Hmm. <laughs> I said, put your hands together for Jesus. I said, put your hands together for Jesus. 
We should give glory to God for this power of prophecy through his anointed one prophet, T.B. Joshua. Because if not for the power of prophecy that revealed this problem in this marriage, we know, as the woman said, it will have destroyed the home and we know what the consequences will have been. And look at the beautiful family we are seeing today. They will not have been here today to share this wonderful testimony uh, with the children of God, if not for the power of prophecy. Once again, shall we put our hands together for Jesus? So let us now hear from your husband too what the changes he has seen ever since uh, the deliverance of your wife and yourself. Emmanuel, Emmanuel. In fact, my sister says last week, it's like uh, I just where that since last week, she's, she has changed. Small thing that when I thought I say something, she will not be, but since then she, she has changed. Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Once again, put your hands together for Jesus. So, and um, you, we also, you talked about this uh, spirit of drinking. So, ever since you received your deliverance, what can you say concerning that? Uh, my sister, in fact, me before, there's no how every day I must take something. But <laughs> now, like three to four bottles in a day, but since last Sunday, even the church I was going before in my place, I will be in the church. I will just do as if I want to go and urinate. I will take but now. That spirit has left me. The spirit of drinking. And what kind of drink did you used to take then? Uh, my sister, I know we have many people that are drinking here before. We have different type of drink in the town. Alcohol, like now, what I, I go for, go back. Mm -hmm. So we have just heard from our brother that he was into this uh, uh, drinking of alcohol and he took many bottles in a day. But not only was peace restored into the marriage, he was also delivered from that spirit of drinking, uh, drunkenness. And since that deliverance last week Sunday, it's a week now. Have you ever tasted alcohol? No, I have not. Nous sommes en train d'écouter le témoignage de cette famille où l'homme de Dieu vraiment a prophétisé pour cette femme dimanche dernier qu'elle avait un esprit de colère, que cela avait détruit son foyer. Et effectivement, elle est sortie des rangs en confirmant cette prophétie en disant qu'elle a l'habitude d'enfermer de, son mari, de se battre avec son mari, de déchirer ses vêtements, de tenir sa partie, pri, sa partie intime pour pouvoir lui faire des méchancetés. Effectivement, le mari aussi est sorti confirmant cette prophétie étant vrai, qu'effectivement, elle a l'habitude de l'enfermer bien souvent, de fermer la porte à clé, de l'enfermer dans la chambre et de, de garder la clé pour pendant des heures, jusqu'à ce qu'il m'en dit ou qu'il demande pardon, qu'il puisse sortir. Ou parfois, quand la colère aussi monte en lui, il, ouvre, il utilise son pied pour pouvoir détruire la porte, pour pouvoir sortir. Donc, on maintenant continuer à écouter leur témoignage. So, ever since your deliverance, you have that urge to drink. At all, at all. Hallelujah. We give glory to God Almighty for this wonderful uh, deliverance that has taken place in this family. And that we know that the children will have something to say. Because as the wife said, that during their little age, as they were growing up, there were ex experiences, uh, um, I mean, what they witnessed in regards to the constant fight with, uh, with, uh, between the parents. So, but now that your parents are delivered, I know you have something to say concerning what took place before and uh, the changes you have seen. So, who would like to speak first? Emmanuel, Emmanuel, good morning church. Well, I have a lot to say about their fights in the past. They used to, it, my, name, my name is Uche Chukuya, and I'm the first son of the Mr. Godwin, of my parents. So, back then it used to be terrible. Every time they started fighting, all the, our neighbors, they used to come around and it was always very terrible. Our landlord will have to call, call them to say to them and, and all. Some nights my dad won't sleep at home. He will go out, drink, and after the fight like that, he will just leave. But now everything has changed. There is peace in the family right now. We are hearing from the children themselves. Put your hands together for Jesus. So let us hear from the next child. Emmanuel. 
Emmanuel. My name is Ainya Tuchuku. These are my brothers and those are my parents. I can confirm the prophecy that the man of God gave to my mother about anger. When I was very young, I could remember vividly one very day, my dad just came back home. He just took the television set and smashed it on the floor, just like that. Just like that. And I think it was because they quarreled in the morning. So all those things were going on. And it was embarrassing for us, like going to school, your parents are always fighting and all these kind of things. But I thank God that after last week, everything has been okay and there has been peace in the family. I give glory to God. Emmanuel. So finally, we want to hear a word of advice from the couple, because we know that many people uh, all around the world are going through the same uh, situation that we are in before. So they need to hear a word of advice from you on how to get out of their own desperate situation. So madam, let us hear your word of advice. The word of advice I have for the whole world, please. Those that have this kind of problem, trust in God. God will see you through one day. Continue praying. Don't leave God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. So let us hear from the husband as well. Your word of advice. Emmanuel, the word of advice I have for the world is if you have if you are having any problem, just have faith in God. One day, God will see you through and see my wife and uh, my family through in Jesus' name. Thank you. So we have had a word from, of advice from the couple, advising all to have faith in God that whatever problem you may be having, God is more than able to see you through. And we give glory to God Almighty for this wonderful thing he has done in your family, for this restoration of peace, harmony, and unity in the family. And I just want to advise you that you should make sure you continue to stay true to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and make his word a standard for your life and know that better is not good enough, the best is always yet to come. Once again, let us put our hands together for Jesus. Oui, donc ils sont en train de confirmer justement les paroles prophétiques qu'ils ont l'habitude de se battre. Effectivement, la femme a dit qu'elle a l'habitude de se battre avec son mari, surtout qu'elle avait un problème d'alcoolisme. Il est toujours en train de boire et lorsqu'il buvait, il rentrait la nuit, ils étaient toujours en train de se battre, de déchirer ses vêtements, de déchirer. Le mari a l'habitude aussi de, de la mordre. Elle a dit que c'est vraiment un combat toutes les semaines, tous les mois, il devait se battre. Et les enfants, les deux premiers enfants, les deux premiers garçons ont grandi dans cette atmosphère et ont été témoins justement de leur combat pendant plusieurs années. Et effectivement, les enfants aussi témoignent que c'est vraiment, vraiment une honte pour eux pour quand ils ont commencé à grandir, que même les voisins devaient intervenir, le propriétaire de la maison devait souvent intervenir pour pouvoir les séparer, que ça a vraiment été un, un embarras pour eux en grandissant, mais qu'ils rendent toute la gloire à Dieu aujourd'hui et aussi le couple rend la gloire à Dieu, qu'après la prophétie de l'homme de Dieu, qu'ils aient reçu la prière de l'homme de Dieu, qu'il n'y a plus aucune bagarre, qu'ils sont maintenant réconciliés, qu'ils sont maintenant en bon terme, et le mari aussi se réjouit de, de, comme si c'était une nouvelle lune de miel, il vient juste de se marier avec sa femme, car tout est rentré dans l'ordre, il n'y a plus de colère, même pour les petites choses pour lesquelles on se mettait en colère, elle est maintenant très calme et toute la gloire de Dieu, que Dieu a restauré leur famille. Y escuchamos la confirmación de la profecía dada la semana pasada por el hombre de Dios a esta mujer. La palabra profética fue, tienes un espíritu de enojo, eres una mujer hermosa, pero sueles pegar a tu marido. Ella está hoy aquí con toda su familia, con su esposo y sus cuatro hijos para confirmar la palabra profética y contar al mundo los cambios que ha habido en su vida tras recibir esta profecía. Ella nos compartía que solía ser imbuida por un espíritu de enojo y cuando esto ocurría ella era incapaz de controlarse. Entonces, comenzaba a pegar al marido e incluso lo encerraba en la habitación y escondía la llave. Los hijos nos confirman que efectivamente esta situación era real, que ellos debían intervenir para separar el matrimonio algunas veces e incluso el hijo mayor nos dice que solía buscar la llave para dársela al padre. Eh, cada uno de ellos habló con ella, incluso la suegra le aconsejó, le daba palabras y ella entraba en razón, pero cuando el espíritu de enojo venía ella era incapaz totalmente de controlarse. El esposo nos cuenta por su parte que todo esto era verdad, que la situación era insoportable en casa y que él también estaba embargado por un espíritu de alcoholismo que solía beber para refugiarse de la situación. Hoy está aquí la familia al completo para darle la gloria a Dios diciéndonos que tras recibir la palabra profética este espíritu de enojo ha desaparecido totalmente de la vida de, de la mamá, así como el espíritu de alcoholismo ha dejado el hogar la familia está restaurada ahora mismo y la, la casa se halla en paz y en armonía para la gloria de Dios Continuamos